In today's video, I will be flying Lotus 7878 Economy Class product from New York Liberty International to Krakow in Poland. We start off here at New York Airport's Terminal B. Lotus check-in slash package drop area is on floor 1, essentially the bottom floor of the terminal. After checking in and dropping off my bag, I made my way to security, in which I was thoroughly patted down multiple times for no reason. Eventually, I did make it airside to my gate, which was B-63. Here's my aircraft for today's flight. This Boeing 7878 Dreamliner, registered Sierra Papa Limo Romeo Bravo, was delivered new to Lot in December of 2012, making the aircraft just shy of 10 years old at the time when I flew on it. After a short wait, I boarded the aircraft and headed to my seat, 15J, for the 7.5 hour overnight flight. The cabin on Sierra Papa Lima Romeo Bravo is equipped with mood lighting as well as dimming windows, which is standard on all 787 Dreamliners. Now, let's take a look at the seat. Every economy class seat is equipped with a decently sized IFE screen, which is adjustable based on seat recline. Next to the screen, you will find a USB port and coat hanger hook. Below the IFE screen, you will find a controller which pops out of the seat. Below that, you have a tray table and a cup holder. As for legroom, there is plenty for shorter and average sized people like me, but this may be a problem for taller people. Depending on the duration of your flight, blankets and pillows may be offered as well, such as on mine. Blankets are relatively higher quality as well as the pillows. On the sides, below the middle seats in all aisles, you can find standard 120 volt power outlets. Lot economy seats also have adjustable headrests. Lot's IFE system contains a decent selection of movies, TV shows, games, and more for you to choose from. The IFE screens themselves, however, are quite slow for 2022 standards. The controller underneath the IFE screen helps make the experience better by helping you navigate the system. This controller can also be used when playing video games offered. The cabin crew on my flight came around handing out earbuds, which are of moderately decent quality for economy class ones. After an on-time pushback, we sat on the tarmac with our engine started for quite a few minutes. Because of the increased traffic of the summer season, we began our taxi 35 minutes late. Here's our 50 minute late departure from runway 2 to right at EWR. Shortly after departure, dinner was served throughout the economy class cabin. The option that I went for was the curry white rice. This dish consists of the main course, a salad, quinoa, a bread roll, and a piece of cheesecake for dessert. Drinks were also served along with the meal service. I went for a cup of sparkling water. Shortly after the dinner service, the lights throughout the cabin and windows were dimmed, allowing others to sleep. Throughout the flight, the cabin crew would walk around dispensing water in plastic cups to passengers. This is a really nice and appreciative gesture on a long flight like this. Around six and a half hours into the flight over Norway, the cabin lights came back on for the start of the breakfast service. This breakfast service consisted of a ham or cheese sandwich, along with a drink. 
I went for the ham sandwich and tea. Over Poland, a small chocolate bar was served to end off the breakfast service. Shortly after, our descent commenced for our landing into runway 25 at Krakow. Overall, Lutz Transatlantic product gives you your money's worth, providing two meals, an IFE system, and even power outlets on a 7-hour flight. I would rate this flight 9 out of 10. Until next time, see ya.